right, here we are in the Vicky3 Academy, and we're going to do parties today. So this is going to be sort of like a, a follow-up, kind of, to the it, the IG group videos. Because um, I know a lot of people had a lot of questions about party formation. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that although I am filming this, it there is a very, very, very good um, Paradox Wiki uh, article on political parties and that's really most of what i'm going to be reading to you guys today because that that is like the core of the under of, of how you should understand the game um when it comes to political parties so what causes a political party to form like this political parties are formed whenever you have a, a like a democracy going on right you don't have political parties prior to elections but once you have elections then you then you start having them um so in order to determine which parties you have, um, there are going to be some requirements that you have to have for that for that associated party to form. So, for instance, in Japan, um, if if a conservative faction or a conservative party is going to form, the requirement to form it is that the landowners are not marginalized. On the other hand, for like military, it would be armed forces are powerful. And so whether or not you have some of those requirements met will determine whether or not those parties form. Liberal, intelligentsia are not marginalized. You need to make sure the intelligentsia are not marginalized. Agrarian, rural folk are powerful. Um, there are a lot of options in terms of things that can form. But rather than telling you like how to manipulate that, I'm going to tell you how to observe for it. Um, so every every party has these attraction bonuses. So parties are formed between two um, IGs that happen to have some things in common, some parts of their ideology, whether it is these literal things over here, the personal ideologies of the particular people in charge, um, or if, if there's something else bringing them together. But that's it's primarily going to be ideology-based. Um, and, and that's why you see in Japan that the samurai and the, the shogun frequently come together. So what you need to do in that case, and that's just this is a specific example, but it's not the only, the only example that we're going to approach. We would want to look at conservative party attraction on the... Um, on the, the out on, I don't think it's in here. Yeah, it doesn't say it in here, which is unfortunate. I think probably there needs to be a tooltip that says it in here, um, but it is on the wiki again. So th normally there would be a minus five, um, but if they are armed forces and powerful, uh, oh, armed forces and powerful party member has jing jingoist ideology, which is where the jingoist ideology is like pull starts showing up. Um, so if you're gonna go into landed voting, if you don't do something else, then the chances are pretty good that the landowners are going to end up with the, the samurai helping them. But there's another modifier that usually pushes the landowners over the top, and it's landowners and clout is above 15%. So if you can get the clout of the landowners below 15%, then you can almost always make sure that the samurai don't associate with them because that would just basically be like hey if you can just convince the 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 samurai that the shogunate is just too weak and too backwards they will turn away from them and that's like exactly what's going on there and of course you you hear that we say like is uh jingoist in in uh armed forces if it doesn't have is armed forces and powerful party member has jingoist ideology if if your leader dies or is replaced because of some some malfeasance, then you can move away from that. Um, the let's see, what's the attraction for? I'm just going to do a couple of other ones. I'm not going to do them all because again, you can read this stuff on the on the the Wikipedia or on the Vicky the Vicky Wiki yourself. Um, the liberal party attraction, which is the the thing that you need uh, your technology for empiricism because that's what we're looking at right here. This is the Whig party, right? Uh, you need intelligentsia. So that's that's going to be a... Oh, wait a second. Come back here. Come back here. And then there are, like, particular ideologies that can draw people from out here into the party. Um, reformer is one of them. And 
um, one of one of my viewers, I forget who, but one of one of my viewers noticed that um, there that in Japan at least one of the shogunate char- generals it starts as a reformer, and so you don't fire him because if you don't fire him, then the chances are pretty good that once he gets in control of the the shogunate IG, he might actually want to associate with the intelligentsia because of the reformer ideology. So what I want to encourage you. Um, to do to take away from this just so that this video isn't like ridiculously long is to just check the 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 wiki i will actually post the link on this one because i think it's so critical to the usefulness of um of really any sort of early voting strategy if you want to understand how to do uh democracy i i promise you read that wiki um you'll you'll understand it a lot better than i can that than i or probably anybody else could ever teach you Uh, But I just wanted to talk very briefly about what you should be looking for, because what you really do want to look for are the requirements to form, and then the attraction bonuses, and then look at the characters that you start with, because that's really going to determine, like, how effective democracy is going to be for you at breaking down the strength of the landowners. Okay, um, that's Walker, and that is party formation. Take care.